Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, bringing you an updated video on themes in Home Assistant. Now, when I started to uh, put this video together, Home Assistant released version 0 0.114 uh, of Home Assistant, which includes the new dark mode feature. So I thought we definitely needed to add this in as well because it looks pretty sweet. Nonetheless, we're going to do a little bit of everything and check it all out. So themes have been around in Home Assistant for quite a while. So as you can see from this forum here, people have been building their own custom themes for Home Assistant uh, for quite a while. And one of the great things about Home Assistant is the ability to make it your own. Let's do a quick run through of everything we're gonna cover in this video. So of course, for starters, we're gonna check out the new dark mode feature that they have in Home Assistant 0 0.114. Once we do that, then we'll go through all the things that you need to do as far as creating your directory and editing your configuration.yaml file and getting your system ready to be able to use themes. Once we do that, we'll use the Home Assistant Community Store to download some themes. And then of course, as an added bonus, I'm gonna show you how to build out an input select that you can use anywhere in your Home Assistant dashboard to select the themes that you wanna use. And lastly, we'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So if you didn't get a chance to see the latest release notes of version 0 0.114 of Home Assistant, one of the new cool things that they've added with this version is the new dark mode feature. And the great thing about it is it will be able to tell based on your existing browser settings if you're already using dark mode settings. And if you are, it will enable it by default. Pretty sweet. So of course, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you're on the latest version of Home Assistant. Now you can do this by going to your configuration and then go down to info and it should tell you what version uh, of Home Assistant you're on. And as you can see here, I'm already on 114, so we're good to go. So if you wanna play around with the dark mode feature, you could do that from your user profile. So you click on your profile down in the bottom corner and under the theme section, there's now a auto dark light feature depending on what you want to choose. If you only want light mode, obviously you would select light. If it's set to auto, then of course, like I said, it will change based on whatever your settings are uh, on your computer itself. Or you can just leave it at dark all the time if you want to leave it separate from everything else as well. You can even change the accent colors as you can see here. We can play around with the different colors and change it to whatever we want. So if you haven't upgraded to the latest version yet, definitely download 0 0.114 and check it out. All right, so for themes, there's a few things you need to do in order to be able to take advantage of any custom themes and stuff in Home Assistant. So you'll need a directory to store all of your themes files because they will be stored as YAML files. So inside your Home Assistant config directory, you're gonna wanna create a folder if you don't already have one called themes. So as you can see here, I already have mine created, but if I was gonna create one, I would do an mkdir space themes, and this would be where my themes directory would be. And if we go ahead and move into this directory, I already have some themes in there as well, as you can see here. And the pretty cool thing about it is you can have themes in different directories as well. And as long as they fall under this themes directory, you're good to go. Next thing you need to do is edit your configuration.yaml file. So you're looking for a section called front end, should be towards the top of your configuration. If you don't have one, then you can certainly add it. Front end, and then of course, themes underneath that, colon, and whatever the directory folder is gonna be for your themes directory. Obviously, I'm going with themes to make it simple. So it's exclamation include, underscore dir, underscore merge, underscore named. And then of course, themes, forward slash. Once you have that in your configuration, you're ready to go ahead and save it and exit out of the configuration.yaml file. Now we're gonna jump over to uh, Home Assistant web interface here and we'll restart Home Assistant for the changes to take effect. Once all that's done, we're ready to move on to the next step. All 
All right, so downloading themes. You used to have to basically do all themes manually, where you would create the YAML files, put them in the themes folder, uh, and then the Home Assistant would pick them up that way. But with the introduction of the Home Assistant Community Store, it is super easy to install themes. Basically, we can go over to the Home Assistant Community Store, click on front end. As you can see, there's two options for loveless or themes. Then basically just pick whatever theme you want. So let's scroll down through here, see if we can't find some that we like. We'll go ahead and install that one. And as you can see here, it does install it in that themes directory, which is exactly what we want. We'll go ahead and pick one more just to give us a couple to play around with. Once you have them installed, you're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so for this next part, this is not something that you necessarily have to do in order to uh, take advantage of themes, but I like doing this because it gives me the ability to change whatever theme I have going on my system without having to go into my user profile or anything else. And it shows you how you can incorporate themes into automations. So we're gonna create an input select that will list out all the different themes that we have, and then that combined with automation, it's gonna allow us to change our theme whatever we want, right from the dashboard. So I'm gonna edit my input underscore select.yaml file. Obviously we'll give it a name. I'm gonna call mine has underscore theme. And then under options, this is where you're gonna list out all your different themes. Now you wanna make sure that these names are exactly the way the names are set up in your actual themes files. But you're gonna list out all your different themes here. And as you can see, since I've already got most of mine here, I'm gonna add in those two new ones that we just downloaded. So here's Sundown and here's Synthwave. Once we have those in there, we'll go ahead and save it. Now we need to set up our automation that will allow the input select to change the different themes. So we're gonna edit our automations.yaml file here. And again, I've already got mine added, but we're gonna walk through it anyway. So for the alias, it's just gonna be has theme, just something so I know what it is. We'll set the initial state to be on. And for the trigger, the platform is gonna be state, and the entity ID is the input select that we just created. For the action, it's gonna be frontend.set underscore theme. And then under the data template, we're gonna use the data from that input select. So we'll be states.input underscore select dot has underscore theme dot state. And I'll have all this in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it. Once you have all that in there, go ahead and save it. And then we're gonna jump over to the web front end. We'll do a check config to make sure that everything turned out okay. And this time we won't necessarily have to restart Home Assistant. We can just reload automations and reload our input selects. Once we do that, we're ready to move on to that last step. All right, one last thing to do after we've reloaded our input select and our automation is we need to go into our user profile, set the theme to back in selected. What this does for you is it will make sure that automations and stuff within Home Assistant have the ability to change themes. If you don't set this, then your input select's never gonna work. Now we're ready to move on to the last step. So let's check it out. As you can see here, I'm on the uh, dashboard of Home Assistant. And right there in the middle is a input select where we can select what theme we want to use. So we'll just try out some different ones here to see how they work. And as you can see, it changes one right after the other. Obviously, some of these themes don't work that well. I uh, probably need to remove those and pick some better ones. But there's a few in there that I like. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, 
Not a whole lot to this video, but it shows you how to run through and set up themes. And of course, with the introduction of the new dark mode, that's pretty sweet too. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, we went over the new dark mode that they just introduced. Uh, once we did that, then of course, I showed you how to add in your themes directory and edit your configuration.yaml file for themes. Once that's done, we took advantage of the Home Assistant Community Store and downloaded some themes. After that, we created our input select and automation. And lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. I want to thank everybody that has donated to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my Teespring merchandise page and check out my uh, merch site for our Burns Home Automation merchandise. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.